Hi everybody and welcome to part two of my 1176 teardown. In the first part, uh, we just focused on compression for the most part, which makes sense. It's a compressor, that's a big part of the sound. But there's a lot more to the sound than just that. And today we're going to focus on what I believe to be the second most important part, which is harmonic distortion. So part of why people love these things is that the signal path is just a little bit dirty uh, in a really nice way. And so that's really, when we say that, we usually mean harmonic distortion. So what is going to happen today is I'm going to probe through the circuit here to different parts, and we're going to see if we can find where that distortion happens and, and hopefully get a better idea of kind of like what parts of analog circuits are usually really juicy and which parts not so much. So just a quick review of our block diagram here. We go straight to the input attenuator, then the uh, balanced input transformer, and then the gain control FET signal preamp, which is a, the most gain uh, happens here. Then we have an output attenuator, and then a line amp to drive the transformer. Not a ton of, of gain in this stage. Um, and then to the balanced output transformer. So those are the parts we'll be probing today to look for color. So let's start right at the beginning. This is coming in right at the balanced output input, coming into the balanced input. And on this graph here, ta-da, you're going to see what we're measuring. So uh, this graph shows frequency along the bottom and amplitude uh, on the y-axis. And what you're going to see is I've sent a 100 hertz sine wave into the 1176 at plus 4 dBU, which is a, a moderate level. It's not, not crazy. It's not super quiet. And as we find distortion, you're going to start seeing other frequencies show up here. So right now at the input, you're just seeing this one peak for 100 hertz, which is what you would expect. There's no distortion coming out of my interface, uh, no harmonics showing up yet. And so let's keep going. Let's go, I'm going to go right after the input transformer here. And you can ignore that little jump in distortion. That was just from moving the probe. Uh, so still not much. Um, you can see up here, this is a really cool feature. It tells us the percent of distortion of each harmonic. And then up here, it says THD, total harmonic distortion. So keep an eye on that number. Uh, it's still very, very low, 0.027%. Okay, so now I'm going to move us over. So we're, we've just measured kind of right here at the balanced input. I'm going to go to the signal, to the output of the signal preamp. And we'll see what happens there. Clear our averages. Okay, yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's, whew, that's a lot of color right there. 12.7% total harmonic distortion. That's a, you can make a respectable uh, guitar pedal that does that amount of distortion. Um, so, okay, we didn't have to look too far to find a whole lot of harmonics, that's going to be a really meaty uh, signal there. So uh, what have we learned so far? Input transformer, not much. Um, but the, let's see, what do I count? Here's the preamp section. One, two, uh, three transistors in that section doing a lot of, uh, of distorting. So the output pot is just passive. We're not going to measure that. Uh, but let's go after the signal line amp. Uh, and see how much that is adding. Uh, so now it's saying 11% total harmonic distortion. Uh, so this test setup uh, is, you know, basically a, uh, an audio interface with a probe. So I'm not putting too much stock in the actual numbers here we get that we get here. But I'm gonna we're gonna call this, you know, basically the same amount of distortion. The signal level has changed and stuff. Um, so it's, you know, these measurements aren't going to be published in a data sheet or anything but my takeaway here is you know not a not a ton of additional distortion above and beyond what was added by the preamp stage and now let's check out after the transformer so after this balanced output right here and that'll be going out to the real world and we're seeing 13 percent harmonic distortion so a bit of a change. You know, that could be another 1% coming from the transformer. We might be running up against the limitations of my home test setup here. Um, but 
some really interesting takeaways. First of all, there is a good amount of distortion happening in this thing with no compression. I mean, 12, 13 uh, percent, really, really healthy amount of distortion. So you can you can see that the magic in the 1176 is not just the compression by any means. And you could just run this thing and bypass as a color box. Um, and it also, we're definitely getting a lot more color from the transistors than we are from the transformers. Um, I know based on kind of common wisdom on audio forums that might sound counterintuitive, but that has been my experience in general is that transistors are responsible for 80 to 90 percent of the harmonic distortion in a unit like this and the transformers just do a tiny bit of kind of rounding um, they're more responsible for phase distortion and other small hysteresis effects uh, not so much the kind of very apparent um, harmonic distortion we're seeing so interesting takeaways uh, for me uh, that's a bit on the distortion in the 1176 I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out my website, DIYRecordingEquipment.com, and uh, I'm going to tear down something else in a couple weeks. We'll see what it is. Thanks for watching.